So welcome to lecture series on programming in C and data structures. In today's lecture, we will see about the uh, conditional operator, which is also called as ternary operator. Uh, so this ternary operator, we have already discussed. This operator takes as input three operands. So question mark followed by colon is called as the conditional operator or the ternary operator. So before question mark, we will have one operand and between the question mark and the, uh, colon, we will have another operand and after the colon, we will have the third operand. So this operator is popularly known as conditional operator. So the general syntax of conditional operator is uh, condition expression followed by question mark. So followed by expression one, colon, expression two. So here the conditional expression will be evaluated first. So if the result is non-zero, which means if the result is true, expression one will be evaluated. On the other hand, if the expression conditional expression value is zero, if it is false, then expression two will be evaluated. So this is what given in this particular picture. So and uh, the value is stored in the variable. So uh, for example, if expression two is eva getting evaluated, means that expression two value will be stored in the variable. On the other hand, if expression three is getting evaluated means its value will be stored in the variable. So now let us see an example for conditional operator. So inside main program, I have declared three local variables a, b and x. I'm getting value for two variables from the user in the runtime a and b. So for example, let us assume I'm giving the value for a as two and value for b as one. Now, so this is the next statement x equal to a greater than b question mark a colon b is the conditional operator statement. So the value of this particular statement is stored in the variable called x. So first which one will be executed as we have seen earlier a greater than b will be evaluated. Now a value of a is 2 and value of b is 1. So 2 greater than 1 condition is true. So if the condition is true the statement immediately after the question mark will be evaluated. So now what is after question mark? a so what is the uh, value of a here 2 right so now 2 will be stored in the variable x so after this inside the printf statement i have given like the biggest value is x so what is the value of x here 2 so of these two values 2 and 1 we have uh, we are clear 2 is the greatest value so biggest values 2 message will be printed so on the other hand let us assume i'm giving the value for a is 1 and b as 2 now a greater than b condition is false. Uh, so non-zero will value will not be returned, right? So value zero will be returned here. So obviously a will not be executed, which means the expression immediately following the question mark will not be executed. So the second expression after the colon will be executed. So the value of b will be stored in x. Now what is the value of b? Again 2 because I have given the value of a as 1 and b as 2. So 2 will be stored in the variable x and b. Uh, message uh, biggest value is 2 is printed. So here are the guidelines for writing multi-way selection statements. So you have to avoid compound negative statements and you have to use positive statements wherever possible. And you have to keep the logical expression as simple as possible. So the condition code need to be, uh, the condition need to be coded first. So the most probable condition has to be uh, evaluated first. This will eliminate the unnecessary test, thus improving the efficiency of the program. Uh, so you can either use a nested if statement or a switch statement. So the choice of choosing the uh, conditional statement is up to the matter of individual's preference. The good thumb rule is to use the switch when alternative paths are 3 to 10. Use proper indentations. And uh, you have to have the habit of uh, using default clause in a switch statement, though it is not mandatory. Group of case labels that have similar actions has to be executed first. So the next one is the go to statement. So, so far we have discussed uh, different ways of controlling the flow of execution based on certain conditions. Uh, like other programming uh, languages, C also support go to statement to branch an unconditional uh, block one from one point to another in the program. So the go-to statement, it requires the label in order to identify the place where the branch is to be made. A label is any valid variable name and must be followed by a colon. So the label is placed immediately before the statement where the control has to be transferred. 
Now see the syntax. So go to is a keyword followed by the label. And this particular la label, it has to be placed before the statement to which where condition has to be transferred. So there are uh, two ways in which go to uh, will jump. Either it can be forward jump or backward jump. Forward jump is that the uh, condition uh, moves in forward direction. The label is placed after the photo statement. So backward jump is that the label is placed before the photo statement. So this is one example. So I have given value as a equal to 2. And here loop is the uh, photo label. So if a is equal to 15, a equal to a plus 1. And again, it will go to loop. So this condition is false, it will come out of the do. So hope you have understood uh, the various condition statements we have discussed so far. From the previous lectures, we have seen uh, what is if statement, what is uh, uh, if else, uh, what is uh, nested if, uh, if else ladder. We have seen, we have seen what is which statement and which one to choose either nested if or switch statement, which is completely based on the user preference. And we have seen what is conditional operator is. And today we have seen a uh, go to statement. So in the next lecture, we will see the various uh, looping statements for while and do when statements. At that time, we will get better understanding about the go to statement. Hope you understood this video lecture. Thanks for watching.